Zarate ready to work to Ben Meikenbaum, the right fielder for Canada. Bouncer up the third base line, and Miguel Padilla makes the play. I watched Padilla in infield. That kid can throw from all arm angles. I watched him go to his left. I watched him go to his right. Zarate's pitch is a beauty. 71 on the outside part of the plate to Hainstock, two down. Weiser has swung it well here in Williamsport. 0-2. Oh, a strikeout for Zarate. 70 miles an hour. One, two, three. Nine pitch inning. A wide-eyed look is 2-2. Two, two. And a strikeout to start the evening for Ben Dartnell. 1-2 to Padilla. And he strikes out. Back-to-back -back K's for Ben Dartnell to begin the night. Bouncing ball to third. And Lucas Weiser not going to get him. Zarate's on with two outs in the first. When you look at them at the same age. Young Fernando pops it up high into the night sky and Dartnell, a pitcher fielding a pop-up on the mound. Yeah, we're allowed to do that in Little League, just not in the big leagues for some reason. Takes a couple steps back, gives himself some more room. And Zarate strikes out St. James. Three Ks among the first five face. He stares at strike three call. That is nasty from David Zarate. Six up, six down, four Ks. He said afterward, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> it was more self-defense than skill. I was going to say that comebacker caught him. Runner takes off. Alden Hughes' throw does not get Ivan Cuesta, who takes off for third. Help me, Mike. That's fairly rare, right? That's a straight steal. It wasn't delayed at all. 1-2 pitch, ground ball back up the middle, Dartnell goes home, not in time. Cuesta scores from third and Mexico leads. And that ball hit Ben Dartnell right in his right ankle. He is in some pain. You see Cuesta here over at third, as soon as this ball's hit off, off the leg, he's gone. He waited for a second to make sure he was going to be able to make it home. Uh, any ground ball back to the pitcher here with less than two outs, you're stopping. But as soon as he sees that ball's off his leg, he's it. he knows he's got the speed, and he's able to get home. Nice job of reading that ground ball right there by Cuesta. One, two. Fisted toward left center field, and that splits the gap. Covarubias gets a windmill around third. The throw is cut off, and Mexico adds on. Juan Pablo Puente delivers. So remember the game we did against Australia. Canada plays very, very shallow in their outfield. And here, maybe it comes back to get them because if they're playing a little deeper, they can cut this ball off and keep that run from scoring. And then X, they miss the cutoff man. And there was no one covering third, so now Mexico's got a man in third with two outs and two runs in. Where each ball is going to be hit. Nestor Zamaripa is the pitch hitter. He pops it up, and it drops. Puente scores, 3-0 Mexico. Yeah, just some early defensive miscues here with Team Canada. 2-2. Two -two. On the ground, left field, base hit. A couple of pinch hitters coming through in big spots for Mexico. And Dad, also named Noe, he loves it. Two on, three in. Ball four. Castillo works the walk and loads him up, and he's trying to fire up the masses. Taking my best cut. That's down. Garcia stays patient. Bat flips the walk, and he fires up the crowd. Play shorten up. On the ground, left side, deep in the hole. St. James goes to third and can't get him. Padilla's in, Castillo behind him, and two more for Mexico. 
Well, we talked about two-strike approach. Not taking the same big cuts that Martinez took the first couple of pitches. He was able to shorten up his swing. He was able to stay short and quick. When I say shorten up, I stay really relaxed. Don't take a hard swing, but just something simple. Weiser's pitch. Loads the bases. 2-0. Bouncing ball right side at Graydon Yan, who ends the inning. But a six spot for Mexico. Bouncing ball off the glove. Busmina Zahn and the first base runner for Canada. Palmer on either side. <laughs> Surprised it wasn't a fight during the game. <laughs> Delay. Delayed steal and a good slide from Omar Busmina. Just ahead of the throw, at least for now, from Fernando Garcia. But Moreras did a nice job of getting himself over to the position, got his glove in front of the base right there. But Garcia made a great throw there. Out is the call, and Garcia's fired up. 0-2 oh, is strike three called. David Zarate's fifth strikeout already among eight batters face. 1-2. Oh. On the edge, strike three called. 71 from David Zarate. Three no-hit innings, six Ks. Swing and a miss. Alden Yu completes the K. Good start to the third for Lucas Weiser. In Southern California, I wasn't skating. Comebacker up the middle into center. And the defenseman has a base hit. Board, they really take off. Breaking ball cut on and missed. They're now the second. And good job by Juan Pablo Puente moving up towards because it has helped them with other skill sets. Oh my. Miguel Padilla into the gap in right center and gone! Opposite way for Padilla. His second home run here in Williamsport. X, that's a right-handed hitter going oppo with a line drive. Oh my goodness. The way that ball jumped off the bat to right center, I didn't necessarily think this ball was getting I, out. I thought it was going to one-hop the wall, and next thing we know, it's cleared it. He, but he wasted no time. He just leaned on this ball on the outer half, being able to cover the whole plate. That's what you're talking about when you're talking about covering the whole plate as a hitter. He got this it. This is Sky. He got it. Center field to the wall and off the wall. <laughs> they was... nearly went back to back for the second time in as many games. It's a single off the center field wall. And now a number off Fernando Garcia's bat. And he is thrown out. Morellis nods yes. One, two. On the edge, strike three called. 3-2 to Weiser it is low. Nice take by Lucas Weiser to get aboard. Gas up the ladder. Morellis with a couple of Ks in his first inning of work. Painting, that wasn't me. That's painted. Good breaking ball. Lands on the outside part of the plate and strikes out the yard. Because I love those gloves so much. And then my dog ate it. No, no. Seriously. Hernan Mireles, the batter. Strokes one in the air. Deep right field. Larder was shallow, and it gets toward the track. A big turnaround second for Mireles, and he will pivot back to the bag. That one was kissed to right. 3-2. Outside, they're loaded. St. James working quickly. It's bounced to first. Mayervich to the plate for the force. And out number two. The 1-1 pitch. And Gomez strikes it well into center. But Hainstock's there, and the inning is over. Struck him out. 
five no hit innings from Mexico pitching tonight at the Little League World Series. Padilla on a line to left and a sliding bid. Good hustle out there by Buzmina. But Padilla's on his third hit in the last four innings. <laughs> and Brad Lidge and the whole team laughed. And then they went to St. Louis and Roy Oswald threw a gem and they moved on to the World Series. A no hitter in progress up at Lamadee Stadium. Ground ball that's fair down the left field line from Garcia. Padilla speeds first to third. Man, he can run. And they're at the corners for Mexico. And the winning run is on at first with a run rule of 10. Hawaii's got a no-hitter going? They do. Over the course of these two weeks. Eduardo Martinez oh. drops down a beauty of a button. That'll load the bases. <laughs> Be still, my heart. It just makes me want to cry. 9-0. A bases loaded walk worked by Ivan Cuesta. Padilla scores and Mexico is one run away from a win. <laughs> and winner plays Wednesday against Chinese Taipei, loser tomorrow. Morales in the air to right field to walk it off. A no hitter for Mexico and a walk off winner. And nearly a walk off grand slam. Boy, what a performance by Mexico. To repeat, Canada was 2-0, had not allowed a run coming into this game. And Mexico took it to them and threw a no-hitter.